I'm Maggie Williams, editor of Engaged Investor and Pensions Insight magazines. I'm here with Rob Gardner, founder and co-chief executive of Reddington Limited, and one of Pensions Insight's 50 most influential people in pensions. Welcome, Rob. Thanks for finding some time for us today. Good morning, Maggie. So, Rob, with the current instability in sovereign debt markets, where else can trustees look for low-risk, liability-matching assets? An excellent question. With the recent move uh, in all the sovereign debt markets, monetary assets are yielding an all-time low. So cash is yielding next to nothing. Uh, government bond yields are extremely low. Uh, and yet, right at the time that pension schemes need long-dated fixed income and inflation-linked assets. Uh, so many people are looking for real assets, hard assets, property, infrastructure, which isn't inflation-linked, but where the cash flows are inflation generative. And what other sources of inflation-linked investment are available to trustees? If we're talking about UK pension schemes, we need to look for UK assets that are throwing off UK cash flows with either UK RPI or CPI. Now, the spectrum uh, really sits on infrastructure spectrum. Everything from social infrastructure right the way through to economic infrastructure. So at the social end, we have housing, so social housing. We have care, we have education, schools, uh, and then we move all the way through into transport uh, and other infrastructure uh, and, and the likes. And in fact, just this week, uh, a perfect pension scheme asset has come up for sale in the form of Cambridge Water, a water utility that is over 150 years old, that has 20 million pounds of RPI-linked revenue and about 7 million pounds worth of profit before tax linked explicitly to RPI. And are there enough of those types of assets to go round? Well, let's define quality. So for this to work, the assets need to be long-dated, secure cash flows. Uh, so that security will either come from the underlying hard asset itself, the property, the infrastructure, uh, or it will come from who's the payer, uh, i.e. who's paying that. Is that coming from the feed-in tariff, let's say, from the electricity suppliers, or is that coming from the government? Uh, and so if I pick out those sectors that I just described, well, the social housing market needs to either refinance or build three to five billion of assets per annum over the next five years. If we look at the PFI market, the PFI market at the peak in 2007 uh, was running at between three to five billion per annum, of which one to two billion of that was explicitly inflation linked. Now, our need for infrastructure investment hasn't gone away. There's just a lack of capital. And now's the time that pension funds should step in and provide that capital in an unlevered format and lock in to those long-dated real returns. So, Rob, now that scheme-specific funding regimes are well and truly in place, how are trustees viewing growth and liability matching assets? Well, by introducing this alternative source of inflation in cash flows, uh, the, the, the rather binary approach of matching assets and growth assets uh, is really being pulled out more into a spectrum. So at one extreme, you've got growth assets such as equities listed and private equities, high return, higher risk. Then at the other extreme, you've got the liability matching, gilts, index linked gilts, interest rate swaps and inflation swaps. Where we started this is that these yields now are at very, very low levels. So they provide outstanding risk management and matching characteristics, but they don't give you that return to give you that trajectory to get to full funding, which is absolutely critical. So these assets that I've just described sit somewhere between the growth assets and the liability matching assets. So anything that can have a real return with either semi-annual or annual inflation-linked income that is throwing off a real return of, let's say, index-linked gilts plus two and a half to index-linked gilts plus three and a half falls in that new halfway house. So all of the assets that we've just described this morning are now a hybrid of growth and liability matching. Rob, that's great. Thanks very much indeed for giving us some insights into that today and I uh, look forward to speaking to you again soon. Thanks, Maggie. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our interview with Rob Gardner of Reddington Limited today and I look forward to the next instalment of Pensions TV.